Okay. Hey. So this is going to be my official first video. I've been meaning to upload a video on YouTube for like a decade now, probably. But uh, it's totally fine. Why not start now, you know? So I am making a K-pop album collection video. I have been collecting for a little over a year now. And I've almost been into K-pop for two years. I became a big fan right before the Love Yourself Tear comeback from BTS. If that gives you a clue of how long, or not long, I guess, I've been into K-pop, depending on how you view it. But I thought it would be really helpful to people that are new to album collecting if I were to make a video. When I go on YouTube and I see these people that have been collecting for like 10 plus years and they have shelves upon shelves upon shelves of album collections and it's almost discouraging in a way to where I feel like it's kind of impossible to have this like over the top collection that's really pretty and beautiful and aesthetically pleasing and has a ton of stuff going on but you know everybody's doing their own thing you can collect however you want whatever you want to do it's cool with anybody I just wanted to show what I got going on and y'all could just come a long way. Also, I need to know. I am making this literally hours before Map of the Soul 7 comes out. So my collection will probably get reorganized right when those come in. But uh, it's totally fine. <laughs> this is just to show what I've done in the past year. So let's get to it. So it feels right to start with BTS since they are my ultimate group. Um, I have the full Love Yourself trio. This was my first album I ever got. My parents got it for me for Christmas in 2018. And yeah, that's what started my little crazy collection here. Um, I have the WNN version of Wings. I do plan on getting ING. It's making me really mad that I don't have the completion of the word. Um... And then I have Papa's Full Persona. I have every version. And then the last of the BTS stuff, I have BTS World. And I just, I love this little holographic part. It's really fun. And then for EXO, I have Obsession. And I am so angry because when I bought this, I didn't notice that there was this little bend right here. And I don't want to return it because I already took the stuff out of it. And I got the Chen photo card, so I'm not too sad. But aesthetic-wise, that's anger-inducing. <laughs> and then I have Don't Mess Up My Tempo. This one has been giving me so many problems because it's super long. It's one of the long ones, the vertical. Um, so I feel like it like sticks out no matter where I put it. But that doesn't matter, it's fine. And then I have Kill This Love by Blackpink. I really like how it looks. Like, it's got like a texture to it. I don't know. And I got Mamacita by Super Junior. I do plan on getting the other version. This was just one that I got for Christmas because it was on my Amazon wish list. And then for VAV, I have Thriller Killer. I do plan on getting Poison. Um, I've tried to get Spotlight. But it's not even available on Amazon in my country. So maybe I'll get it later. Don't know how, but we'll figure that out. And then I have Cherry Bomb by NCT127. Not necessarily like my favorite album, but I really like the aesthetic of it. And Cherry Bomb as its song itself, I really enjoy. And then Super M, I have the United version. I probably will not get the other seven versions. I might get the Taemin version, or maybe even the Mark version, but that's if I'm lucky. I really don't want to collect that many albums. Which leads me into Monster X. <laughs> um, the first thing I got from them was Are You There version 3, and I probably won't get the other versions. I'm already getting photo cards from this album through a k-pop photo card trade because i'm trading postcards from other albums to get the photo cards from this album if that makes any sense and then 
I have Follow. I have two of them. I do plan on getting the other two versions because this is making me mad. I can't stand when there's like albums where people didn't complete them and it doesn't complete like a word or like a piece of artwork, which is definitely why I didn't get any of the other Super Amp albums. Anyway, I'm doing off track. And then the last one, I believe, yeah, is All About Love by Monster X. I have version two because I selected a random version on Amazon when I pre-ordered it. And this one specifically, I definitely do not plan on getting the other, what, 10 versions because all of the photo books are the same and the photo cards are just photo shoot pictures and I can't stand when groups do that. But I mostly blame that on Epic Records because they're an American record label and they don't understand how K-pop albums work and that sounds really stuck up, but that's just how it is. But yeah, didn't mean to end it on a negative note, but that is all the albums I have so far. And with that, I think I'm done here. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the way I have my stuff organized. If not, tell me why. Also, I'll probably make a photo card collection in the future. I'm not as concerned about that one because I'm not one of those that has to have like each member from each thing and all of that. Like, I'm not too into photo card collecting. I just do it for fun. So if you want to see that, let me know. But, you know, for now, it's not my top priority. This was way too long length for the little collection I have probably and yeah hopefully I'll have something new to upload sometime soon and you enjoy it thank you and goodbye